Hello, this is Robert Del Garbino from ICS. Today we're going to learn how to create an invoice from an existing sales order using VTiger CRM Plus Service. Here's a diagram of our typical service workflow process. The area that we're about to explore is circled in red from a sales order to an invoice with one click. First, open your sales order. Locate it, find it, open your sales order. You can do this from your sales order drop down menu or you can go to the account. By going to the account, you would go to more information, find sales order that you want to create an invoice from and select that. With our system, we look at open pending sales orders, find the one that we're about to turn into an invoice and work with that one. Again, we would go to the sales order window. We've got a filter for pending sales orders, ones that haven't been invoiced yet. We select that particular sales order we want to work on. And then we click on the Create Invoice button right there. Wonderful little button. One click. Invoice. Bang. Created. Okay. Once that's done, we look it over. Uh, we add anything in there we may need to that we don't have. How about the contact name? I'm going to add that in. Uh, we make sure that our due date's correct if we need to. It automatically puts in today's invoice date. It automatically puts in our invoice number. It <clears throat> carries over the sales order number and purchase order number if the customer had one. And what we want to do here is adjust the status. Now for these, for our process, we are going to email or deliver it. We're going to select email. That's how we're going to get them this invoice. Um, hopefully uh, Mr. Scott has a uh, email. Let's assume he does. We'll put it in if he doesn't. We're going to copy that right now because we're going to paste it into the email later. In future versions, we'll have a one-click button that'll just bing, email this invoice off to the customer. For us, for our purposes now, we're going to do a little manual work to get that done in a few moments. I'm going to check the shipping and billing address, and then I'm simply going to save it. There it is, one invoice. Now you notice this bounced back to our sales order page and that's fine. At this point in the process, we wanna go in and change the status from created to invoiced and then save it. For this example, I am not gonna do this because this is actually a live database and I don't wanna make that change, but I would click save and be done with it and then that sales order would no longer show up in our pending sales order because it had been invoiced. That's how our workflow process works. We suggest you do the same or create your own. Now to get to that invoice and mail it out we can click on invoice. We can select that invoice. We can export it to PDF using the plus service 2 module we have long PDFs which show a description, a full description of all of the parts. You can send that or you can click send email with PDF. And when that module is active and you have a mail server tied into it, it will do that automatically. In our case, it's not at this moment. So we're just going to export to a PDF, open that PDF, here it is, it opened. We're going to take and attach it to an email. We're using Outlook. You can use whatever email client you like. We're gonna paste in there Scott's address. We're gonna insert a signature. Hey, this is your invoice. Thank you very much for shopping with us. And we click send and it would be sent off. I'm not gonna send this one. I don't think that's a real email address I populated it with. But there it is, it's that simple. This invoice is now kept in that account and you can go back and refer to it as needed. 
there it is. How to create an invoice from a sales order. If you have any questions, please look at our other videos or you can contact us. If you'd like to have your own videos created for your own company's business workflow processes, let us know. We can help you with that. We can also customize VTiger to do just about anything you would like to do. Thank you for watching our video. Have a nice day.